What is Hatch and Tug Peeps? Old Man Tup coming at you today with our Week 5 Team Builder for the UAPB, the Uni, the U, yeah, Uni Something Association of Peanut Butter Battlers. And we are facing off against probably the most competent battler that I've seen so far in the UAPB. I've gone back, watched some of his gameplay footage, he is meticulous about his moves, and he's an extremely smart builder. So this may be our strongest challenge to date in the league but let's do a quick rundown of the team ultra player has with the new york metagross he has magirna mega metacham nihelgo or nihiligo nihil nihai kai nihau kaian whatever hydrogen Dawn Fan, Chestnut, Vikavolt, Gastrodon, Sneasel, Gligar, and Moltres. His Z Captain is Magirna. Now, this is a relatively scary team because there's a lot of threats on it. Uh, Nihaligo or Nihelgo. I call it Nihelgo, so that's what I'm going to stick with. Uh, Lego Nihau is, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, second in the MVP running right now behind Jirachi. So he's been using this thing with extreme uh, usefulness, and he's just wrecking fools with it. So you gotta watch out for that. He has Mega Medicham, which just destroys teams. Uh, it's got that beautiful base 100 s speed. We gotta watch out for that. He's got Hydrogen. Uh, thing drops bombs, can take hits. Uh, Dawn Fan, Chestnut, Gastrodon, Sneasel, Gligar bunch of things we need to watch out for so let's talk about the team we brought and this week we're going to start out the analysis with friend zone doug trio arena trap choice band aerial ace stone edge earthquake and toxic uh edge quake is really good against his team uh earthquake giving us that wonderful stab Aerial Ace being on there. Toxic just kind of as a filler move because we really don't need anything else on his team after Edge, Quake, and Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace, the only thing we really need that for is the um, Chestnut. Everything else gets rocked by Edge, Quake. So that was more or less just a filler spot. We have, I think we outspeed everything on his team, maybe outside of Sneasel. So other than that excellent with the speed investment that we have we may even outspeed sneasel with that what was sneasel's base speed i don't remember but outspeeding the things that are not scarfed banded arena trap can't get out of the friend zone uh max attack the speed investment we have then the rest in hp next we're going to go to little shoddy the current reigning quote unquote mvp of the uapb this week we're bringing a uh, Choice Scarf set, U-Turn, Iron Head, Zen, Headbutt, Ice Punch. Uh, there's another team on the table right now with the Front Office, which is a special set with Moonblast, namely for the Hydrogen. Uh, still bouncing back and forth between that. I've wanted to use a Choice Scarf set for a while, maybe get some flinches going on, get a little bit of luck rolling, but that usually doesn't end well. But that's what we're doing. That's a set we have Ice Punch because otherwise Gligar pretty much just sits and laughs in our face. Uh, Gastrodon, possible physical, uh, Dawn Fan as well for those super effective hits. Plus that sneaky, sneaky freeze chance. Next we're going into Cold Dude, Dude, the Torkoal, Leftovers, Drought, Toxic, Stealth Rocks, Fire Spin, and Rapid Spin. Now, this is a set straight from the mind of Trogdor, and he wants to burninate some peasants. So, I really need to turn my Discord off before I record next time. My bad. But anyways, yeah, Trogdor burninating the peasants with that fire spin, that trap ability, getting the boost in the sun, being able to come in, possibly trap something, and guarantee it stays in when we switch out. Um, so yeah, that's Blaino. Bueno. Leftovers, a little bit of bulk on both sides because we can take hits on both. This is a fairy, f yeah, a fairy. Fairly good switch in to the Magirna. I mean, it can always volt switch out or it can earth power, 
but we're obviously not going to be switching him when we predict that. But that is Cole Dude. Next, we are going into Mega Altaria Control Alt Delete. This is going to be very good for us this week because Altaria with a the return and earthquake combo does a lot of damage to his team after a single dragon dance um dragon dance earthquake return like i said almost perfect coverage against his team if not perfect coverage i don't think anything on his team resists all those moves so that is excellente for us uh moltres being the exception that is correct but we do have other things for moltres so i'm not entirely worried about that but uh as you can see, just enough speed, so after a Dragon Dance, we outspeed everything on his team, barring Scarfers. Uh, special Defense, because we want to be able to switch into those special hits that we're probably going to be making switch-ins with Altaria. Uh, this lets us stand up one-to-one -one very well against Hydrogen if it's a special set, which I anticipate him to bring with either the Draco Meteor, Dragon Pulse, and or Dark Pulse, Flash Cannon-ish combo. So we have to watch out for that. Luckily for us, Hydrogen is not his Z user, and he can't drop that Corkscrew Crash on us because that would be sad face. But yeah, Max Special Defense, we don't have a nature picked out on this Altaria. Why is that? I don't know. But anyways, we'll have to get that fixed before the match. So here we go. We're going to be rocking and rolling Boogaloo. Right on to Billy Idol, the Roserade, our second choice Scarfer. Uh, unfortunately, it's just slow enough to underspeed a lot of the threats on his team. We want to bring this thing in to revenge and or kill. And we do have that speed with the Scarf. So that's excellent for us. Uh, Technician, Choice Scarf, Billy Idol is going to be rocking that Hidden Power Fire, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, Dazzling Gleam. This is almost perfect, super effective damage across his team. Like I said, almost. There's a few mons on his team that resist one or two of our hits. But pretty much everything just gets its boxers roxered. I think the only thing that we're missing super effective hits on is the Moltres. So that is good. Max Speed, Max Special Attack, Timid Nature... We needed that speed to peek over something. I don't remember what it was. But next, we are going to be going into Booberry. And Booberry, I'm not sold on the Wakan Berry yet. I'm really thinking about switching that to Leftovers. Uh, the front office, we were toying around with the possible Protect on this because Magirna having Volt Switch and the ability to use whatever, Beak of Volt Tackle or whatever it is the electric super Z move. We wanted to be able to scout for that, switch in, get the protect up, and take reduced damage from that, and then just have him up and burn his Z crystal right off the bat if possible. But I, I think the Wakan Berry will compensate for that enough. If that is the option he chooses to go with, I'm gonna have to believe he's going to be bringing Volt Switch on it this week because I've had Suicune every week and it slapped in the face of most of the teams I've played. So I really think he should be prepping for it relatively well. Uh, Rest, Toxic, Scald, Ice Beam. I know we have Scald and Toxic on here together, but Scald would be so much better to get hits off on things that probably won't be one hit KOing us or possible switch ins. Namely, the Chestnut and Mega Metacham, because those are super duper physical attackers. Maybe even the Sneasel. Um, yeah, but Scald and Ice Beam because he gets really good coverage against his team. So, yeah. Uh, max Special Attack, uh, yeah, Max Special Defense, Calm Nature, Max HP. So, that is the team we have to bring against Ultra Player, probably the most Ultra Player in the UAPB currently, in the New York Metagross. And if I remember correctly, this is not the team that Ultra Player drafted. If I'm not mistaken, he was one of the replacement coaches. And the fact that he's played so well with a team that he didn't draft so far 
uh, speaks volumes to his ability to adapt and use what he has. So, like I said, we definitely gotta be on our toes because I think this may be not our toughest team matchup, but quite possibly the best coach we could play all season. But alright guys, this has been Old Man Top. Let me know what you think about the team. What did I miss? What should I have brought if I didn't bring some things? Alright guys, this has been Old Man Top, and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.